walking the right away of what was the Wada Railway. Okay, the railroad right away goes straight through here and crosses. Actually, maybe that's why it goes here. Huh. There might have been actual junction switch here now I think about it. But there's also a rail diamond where the two rail lines crossed each other. Ow. But somehow that one rail, I've seen some old railroad maps, that one, I think there's a junction switch here, uh, over here, and there's one track that went across. Actually, you could tell where the track went across and curved. I think it had a junction switch over there, over this way. You know, I need to film some trains here. I might, I need to look at my Facebook videos, because I do remember standing on top of that let the top of the rock out cropping there and filming some trains years ago before I started my YouTube but I don't think I've came down here and filmed any trains since I started my YouTube or since I restarted my YouTube I don't think I've got good train videos on this stretch now up the line of peace and down the line of peace I've got some great train videos but following the waterway the water railway I was just up there a minute ago following that dirt road and, and around that cemetery and come down here. I, a little over, probably about a month and a half, two months ago, I was down here filming and taking pictures. I uploaded the photos on the Bennett Railroads of America Facebook page and started to delete the videos and wait because I thought it'd be so much nicer to do this with the fall forest. Looks a lot nicer when you see the fall forest. I said I got down here sooner because a lot of the trees are de-leaved. Oh well, still beautiful too here. That may I make it down here after we get a couple good snows and the ground's covered with snow and ice. You know, straight ahead, I can't get that. Fire, but there's a, actually a main, there's the bridge abutment where, where there's a railroad bridge across Dumb Luke Creek. Now in this stretch of rail line, you get something funny. All these steel and concrete railroad bridges built by the railroads of the trains, most of them either abandoned or gone. This stretch of Dumb Luke Creek along Dumbler Creek, most of the steel and concrete railroad bridges either bend it or gone. You got that old timey wooden railroad bridge on the active Dumbler Creek branch line that's still used and still active to this day. Of course downstream there's a lot of wooden bridges, a lot of steel and concrete bridges that's still used. I think it's funny this direct, I know a lot of uh, a lot of railroad bridges used to be that steel and concrete and a lot that's not that's still there and that's not being used. But yet the wooden one is. Actually, I think there's a stone bridge down here. The stone pole that, that goes underneath the track just just below where I started my video at. That the dumb little creek branch line crosses over. It's still used. But I never actually got underneath it to look. Look and see how deep it is. Okay, I know it's still used. I just don't... Just don't know how big it is because I never come down the creek there and looked. But here's more of the White Oak Railway. Now straight ahead if I would go I could get some interesting video along the along Dumbler Creek. I just don't like fighting to the bus to get there. I'm gonna see if I can get up this way. Oh by the way, up on the mountain there the city built this big pump system there. This big holding tank and this pump system is supposed to help with the wastewater treatment. They can't use it because the pump is not strong enough to pump the water up. So, but yet they have all this type of money. They could use that to actually buy a new pump. I don't know why it's don't. Oh, whatever.
Yeah, if it's like that don't get resolved, the EPA gets evolved. Okay, can I get through here? Yeah, barely. A Bennett Railway Exploration, this is not easy. Those of us who do this, it's not easy to get to some of these places. Yeah, definitely not easy. Ow, that hurt. I'm still filming, the so must go on. Well, if I would have tried to upload the video like two months ago, I didn't make it this far because I turned around to that spot I was far through. I think that's why I turned around. I tried to film this like two months ago. One thing we saw, I'm looking forward to getting to these ghost towns and the Bennett Coal Camps and ghost towns again. They're much easier to get to in the wintertime than they are in the summertime. The, the well trails go past a lot of these and you don't see a lot. In the summertime, unless you know what to look for, somebody like me already knows they're there, and you know what to look for. You don't, you will, you can find them any time of year. But if you're not familiar with the area, you'll walk right past them. Of course, it's much easier to film this time of year for the simple fact you can spot stuff easy. But here's the beautiful area. Oh, by the way, the city of Oak Hill. Scrap the steam ends, and there's actually a steam engine left over from the water oak railway that set that set there was the water oak rail trail. They could have restored that, but the city of Kill decided to scrap it. And it was literally a historic, I mean, it was literally a historic marker. It could have been deemed a historic landmark as actual steam engine from the water oak railway that was left behind when Virginia Pacific took over. And there was a steam to diesel, they left that, and it was an actual water oak railway steam engine. I got some photos on my Facebook if I could find them. But I think I got some photos on my Facebook. Dumb Luke Creek is so beautiful through here. Oh, by the way, there was a temporary waterfall here years ago. Mother Nature made a temporary waterfall. There's a rock slide, all these big rocks and boulders came down the creek, caused the debris dam back the creek up a little bit. And you had a temporary waterfall fall. Of course, then by the next it got rid of the temporary waterfall during a major flood, the rocks and debris was pushed farther downstream and the temporary waterfall <laughs> was gone. The power of nature. I, I kind of with that was before I started my YouTube, but I do remember taking some pictures of it. I don't know. I still. I don't know. If I still have those pictures. Yep. There's a there's a nice waterfall here. Hey, I bet it's beautiful back in the day running a train through here. If you walk to the water oak railway back in the day. And you come through and the little steam is and coming up the li line along Dumb Little Creek, come around the curve and you got this beautiful waterfall. And then, and then for like a couple hundred feet you got the beautiful view of Dumb Little Creek and the mountains beside you. Then you go through another deep well cut across the bridge over Dumb Little Creek and follow parallel because there's one stretch up, up the line here and we'll try to film here soon where you follow parallel to Dumb Little Creek for about half a mile or so. And then you go into town, downtown Mount Hope. That was a beautiful route back in the day. I actually remember some of this truck being here when I was a kid. Well, most of this wooden ties. The steel rails have been gone, was removed back in about 1952. But I do remember pieces. Well, I remember it's just wooden ties because apparently in 1952 when, this, when they bent the line, and yanked up the rails, they left most of the wooden tires. Of course, back in the 90s, they were rotted, were rotted and pretty much gone from rot. And I think the 2001 flood kind of picked up what was left, hadn't completely rotted away and took them away. That's also the flood that caused this erosion, so I remember coming here before that. 
I have a lot of great memories growing up in Mount Hope. The beautiful, beautiful waterfall. I see I can find the trail down here. This is one of the hardest places to get to along the White Oak Railway. Actually, the second hardest place to get to in film. The first one, I may have to download and re-upload that video instead of trying, but I might try anyways. But this would be right in the video. It's down here with a view of the waterfall. And Sadly, there's not much left. There's a couple miles of water well left and no kill. Well, actually about a mile left, part of the rail trail. I need to go there and film some of that soon. But no, hey, not a bad idea for some filming for the first day of November. Don't know when I'll get these videos uploaded, but I felt started to film a few for November 1st. But the beautiful waterfall. I don't know, Creek looks like it's still running a little bit low, despite all that rain we were getting lately. You would think all the rain we were getting lately, Dumbler Creek wouldn't be running low like this. That's probably only like two or three feet below normal. And it's probably worse a week ago because it's been so severely dry, but we've got a lot of rain. Now we've got a storm system coming that's going to bring rain and snow. By the time those storms over the ground, probably be completely saturated, by the way.